Simon Gersberg, the creator of Shot Quality, with us here. I believe the Houston Cougars are the national champions. The winners of March Madness in 2024 refute, react. What say you? It's a good question. I, I, if I had to say who's going to be the national champion, I would not say them. I, I, I actually feel pretty good with Purdue right now. I think Purdue is looking so damn good. Um, and I think they have a pretty, e- not easy draw. I mean, they have a tough matchup here with Gonzaga and then Creighton or, Creighton or Tennessee, whoever wins their game. But um, I, I, I feel pretty confident in them. And, it, and obviously UConn looks like the best team right now, but I, I just can't see them going back to back, no matter how good they look. They're one bad shooting night away from potentially losing to it's Illinois, Iowa State, or San Diego State in their upcoming matchup. Like you, you just never know, and obviously you never know for Purdue either. But I, um, Purdue is the team that I feel the most confident winning it all now. There was a point in the season, Simon, where Houston was the dominant team on shot quality. It was it was them and everybody else, and the gap between one and two was the same as between two and nine. It was just the Houston Cougars were the team to beat. Do you feel like there was a, a specific point in the year where Houston started to pull behind and Purdue came ahead? Like, where was it that Purdue overtook the Cougars? It's a good question. The, the, the game that actually signals that the most, I believe this was – Jamal Shedd's buzzer beat of the Oklahoma game on March 2nd. Yep. They, uh, that was their first loss in the shot quality score in the Big 12 um, was that game. Uh, and then after that point, they lost the TCU game. They lost the I, another I, Iowa State game. And then this A&M game, they actually lost the shot quality score too. I mean, they just got so many offensive rebounds. And both teams got great looks in that game. It was so high scoring. What an incredible game that was. But the um, – uh, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely a little bit recently. I, I, I hear what you're saying. Like early on, they seemed like the prohibitive favorite. And now based off the shot quality, it's, it's really it's spun back to Purdue recently. Finally, the shot quality number one defensive team in the country is back in the Sweet 16. Because I'm, I'm sure you remember it was Iowa State last year who, I, I mean, had all my futures on them because the defensive metrics looked so good. And that 59-41 loss to Pitt in the round of 64 will live in my brain rent-free forever. They avoid that this year despite offensive troubles in the round of 32 against Washington State. Iowa State is going to the Sweet 16. They are the number one defensive team in the country. Do you have more confidence in them making a run to the national? national championship than you do in Houston because of where their defense ranks? Good question. I do not because of the fact that Iowa State's going to have to play UConn and Illinois, who I, I think Illinois is such a tough match. They're playing so well right now so in my bracket right now. My other bracket, the one that mm-hmm. I didn't have BYU in, I had, I, had, I had Illinois coming out of that region. and I feel pretty good about that. I think that this Illinois-Iowa State game is going to be such a great game. That's the game I'm the most looking forward to. Um, I would say Houston is more likely to make the final four and win it all than Iowa State just because of the draw Iowa State has these next two games. Yeah, do you still feel like, so in Houston-Purdue, let's say that that matchup does come to fruition. We'll put Iowa State to the side for a second. What will be the difference for Purdue if they are to beat Houston? Uh, I think it's a seven, seven foot four giant. Uh, I, I don't know. I don't know who Houston could put on him. Like you, you tell Are me you telling me looking. he's not just tall, but he can also play basketball? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> That's what I'm telling you. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. And it, it really comes down to it typically comes down because you can triple team him and do whatever you want. And it's going to come down to produce shooters and their shooters are just so much better this year. Like, like it's not the same team as last year where you leave them open and they miss like, yeah, they're going to miss some, but like they have some guys. They have some real guys that can knock them down. Um, so I uh, I think that'd be a really tough matchup for Houston, but uh, you never doubt Samson, so you never know. Never doubt Kelvin Sampson. Uh, in March, he's been solid. I, I even go back to that final four year they had in 2021 when Baylor won it all and the mix of offense and defense that Houston has brought, won them a Big 12 championship, got them a one seed. And I, I still, they are on a, they're very good position to go to the final four. But if there's another team, I know we've mentioned Illinois, Purdue, Houston, Iowa State. Is there one more team floating out there that you think, all right, these guys could be a sexy pick for national champions? My boys, Creighton. I love Creighton. Every year, every year I get on a podcast, I'll just talk about Creighton winning it all because yep. I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed with the way they play basketball. I think it's like the most efficient basketball you'll see. And they're, they're just, they're, they're so fun to watch. And the way they're coached by Coach McDermott, it's incredible. And 
they uh yeah no that would be my pick I, I think they have a i think this is a good matchup for them against tennessee and then uh obviously the following game even if they beat tennessee i think they're two and a half point underdogs three and a half point underdogs and then the following game they would have to play purdue which obviously be very tough but i think Creighton matches up better against purdue than houston does because Creighton could put Cockbrenner on him which would be uh uh the battle of the giants uh between the cock and uh, Edie. Uh, so that, that'd be a fun one if, if we get to that. But uh, yeah. Last thing I'll give you, I want to go outside of the big 12 with this too. NC state Marquette. Is there any way that lone Cinderella? I mean, it's a great story. The only reason that NC state is not being talked about more is because they beat out Oakland. The only other great story of March so far, any way the Wolfpack sustain. I don't think so. I think this is the end of them. If I'm being honest, I, I think, uh, I think Marquette's getting getting a lot hot at the right time, and Kolick looked really good against uh, the Swiss Re game against Colorado. I um, I'd be scared to play them right now. I, I think they're I think they're getting their groove and Shaka crying at the end of the game. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, with that being said, let's say NC State does lose out. The lowest seed that we would see in the Elite Eight is a six, meaning this tournament has been mostly chalk. And if you have just bet on the favorites, you're probably a rich man at this point, which doesn't make sense. Antithetical to what March is. Simon, coming up, let's talk about whether or not the, the tournament should expand and why we've seen such a chalk March Madness right here on Locked On Big 12, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's show is also brought to you by Nissan. If you want to be like me and drive a Nissan, this week's March Madness Bracket Highlight is brought to you by our friends at Nissan each week. We're picking one team that stands out, a team that pushed it further than the rest, just like all the 2024 Nissan SUVs. These guys were able to take it to the next level. Let's say the Iowa State Cyclones are a pathfinder. That's the best way to describe them. They've been thrilling to watch and have created a lane for themselves, entering the tournament as one of the hottest teams in the country. And now they have a date with Illinois this Thursday in the Sweet 16. That's what the pathfinder is. Is thrilling and create your own lanes. Take the Nissan Rogue, Nissan Pathfinder, or Nissan Armada and go find your next big adventure. Shop NissanUSA.com. Again, if you want to be like the Iowa State Cyclones, you want to be like me, I drive a Nissan Maxima. Go be an Iowa State Cyclone, drive a Pathfinder at Shop NissanUSA.com.